What is going on everybody? Welcome to Rippin' Packs. It's Thursday. And normally we do the little throwback. No, we're not, we're not, no, stay away. We're not doing you today, dude. Stay, thank you. Normally we do that, throwback Thursday, but with uh, Tops 21 uh, coming out uh, last week, we've got a bunch of Tops to open, and the way I see it, why not just open it? Throwback Thursday will come back probably the next week or the week after. We got plenty of stuff to uh, to go through. Hoping to get some more older vintage packs. Nothing unlike the you know the uh, early, the late 80s to early 90s, you know, but some other stuff. Yeah, change it up a little bit. But anyway, what are we gonna do today? Well, we're gonna open, as I mentioned, some 21 Tops Series One. We're gonna start off with a fat pack that I picked up at Target. We got 46, 40 cards in here. And then staying at Target, we have the hanger box. And after that hanger box from Target, we're gonna do a hanger box from Walmart. And we're gonna see which hanger box, at least for these two, end up being the best. Stay tuned. Hi there. I'm Craig Michelson, and I just got back into the hobby after more than 15 years away. Join me as I reconnect with the hobby one pack at a time. Now let's rip some packs. All right, everybody. Tops 21, Series 1, minor comparison. We're going to be doing a mega box tomorrow, and then next Monday uh, we're going to be opening some more hobby. We're going to do some hobby packs and some retail packs. We're going to see what the difference is between that. Yeah, so it's going to be a lot of baseball. But either way, we're going to open some stuff. Again, we have the fat pack, the hanger box from Target, and the hanger box from Walmart. We're going to open these, and we're going to do to see what we can pull out of these. But before we even crack these bad boys open for your enjoyment and enlightenment in my collection, click that like button. And uh, after you click that like button, that subscribe button. And after the subscribe button has been pushed, that notification bell, you know, for giggles and stuff, if you really feel inclined, then you'll know, oh, he's doing another episode. Guess what? It's more Topps Baseball. Well, I'm a baseball guy. You know, the likelihood of me ripping Pokemon is really, really rare. Yes, I did a special edition version yesterday, but that was purely because it's a new product and I was able to get it before the release date. So that's kind of a cool thing, is it not? Yeah, I didn't know anything about Pokemon. Still don't, but it's still cool, right? All right. Anyway, ripping packs. Like I mentioned, we have two hangers, one from Walmart and one from Tiger uh, Target and a fat pack. Let's get down to business. Let's do this fat pack first. We have 40 cards here. One exclusive Cody Bellinger highlight card is inside. Uh, 40 cards packed with a special insert contain only 33 to 38. We're just gonna have fun. And the nature of today's rip, I'm going to be just going to the close-up camera for the hits. Otherwise, we're sticking with the overhead. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's just do it. Three, two, one, ripping packs. Let's Friggin' go. All right. Okay. All right, let's get ourselves uh, Brett Gardner for the Yankees, Yuli Gurriel for the Astros, Ian Kennedy for the Royals, Shane Bieber, league leaders for the Cleveland Indians, Manny Machado for the Padres, Hands up, masks up. Okay, going in the PC pile. It's the Dodgers, uh, and they're going in my PC pile, and I'm gonna show you, because that's what I do. PC pile, Dodgers, here we go. Then we have Juan Soto going into the hit pile. I'm sorry, I gotta show Juan Soto. I haven't pulled a Juan Soto yet, and as I mentioned the other day when I ripped uh, the hobby box, uh, some of the hobby box, there is a lot of horizontal cards in here. I don't mind horizontal, but when you're ripping them out of packs, they're a pain in the ass, and from what I'm gathering with grading as well, it's there's no real set way. So yeah, it's a cool looking card, I will say that though. That's going in the hip because he's Juan Soto. Then we have Garrett Richards, who is now with the Boston Red Sox. Jock Peterson, going in the hip pile, although he's not with the Dodgers anymore. He's now a Red Sox. Maybe not a Red Sox, but a Cub. And then we have league leaders Jacob deGrom. I throw Jacob deGrom in my hip pile because he's pretty much the best pitcher outside of Clayton Kershaw, uh, who's a vet. And he's one of those, you know, keeps pitching the way he is. He could be a Hall of Famer. So I, that's, that's, that's my prerogative. I do what I want to do. That's my prerogative to do what I like to do. Okay, Bobby Brown, thank you. 
Then future stars, Brennan McKay, going into my PC pile, because I like the guy. PC pile, Brennan McKay, all the way. Then we have Tyler Chatwood for the Cubs. Joe Adele, nice rookie hit. Uh, Angels uh, stud over there. Nice little hit there. Didn't pull him in the hobby that I opened so far, but he's definitely a guy to look for. I think he's gonna start the year in the AAA roster, just a hunch. Although his service time is not an issue now because he played about, you know, I will say a good chunk of the season up with the big league uh, club. In fact, I think he lost his rookie eligibility, but either way, he's uh, he's he's definitely a masher and he's, he's just a great five tool player. Joe Adele, hit. Tyler Stevenson going into the rookie pile for the Reds. Don't know too much about him outside of him being a catcher. Then we have Eddie Alvarez for the Marlins. Then we have Casey Mize, nice. This guy is going into the rookie hit pile. Number one, first number one overall by the Tigers out of Auburn. I want to say in like 2017, maybe 2016. Can't, I don't know for sure what date, what year. But the guy had a little bit of a pitch, a little bit in the big leagues last year. Did okay, but he's definitely got to look for. He's yeah, one of the top pitchers, prospect pitching prospects of all of baseball. Then Sixto Sanchez, another. This is actually a great rookie pack so far. Sixto, what, probably going to be the Marlins ace, and the guy is just a flamethrower. He's going in the rookie hit pile. Then we have Jorge Soler with the home run challenge. I've never pulled these cards before. Granted, I just got back in the hobby like in August, but still, it's kind of cool. That's going into an insert pile, but it's Jorge Soler, so I have to pick the right date, I guess, that the Royals are going to play, and he'll hit a home run. Then we have the 86, Eric Bregman for the Astros. I actually do like Alec Bregman. He's one of those guys, he's just, he's a gamer. I don't like the Astros, but I like him. So there's that. That's the insert pile hit. And then Clay, uh, uh, Cody, not his dad, Cody. Bellinger, fast, faster, fastest. Going into the PC pile, it's Cody. He's a Dodger, I like him, yeah. Then Josh Donaldson with a uh, with a standard cardboard uh, insert from I want to say the 52 Tops design that's going into the uh, insert pile. Cody Bellinger with the same design, cool. I like that. That's actually a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool looking uh, card. That'd be a nice one to get autographed on top of the autograph, if you know what I'm saying. Then we have Tristan McKenzie, who I just pilled out of my hobby box, but he's another rookie. A tall, you know, Randy Johnson meets Pedro Martinez. Yeah. Rookie hit. Shohei Otani. Shane Bieber for the Indians League leader. Mike fulton -Avitz. Ian Happ for the Cubs. Joey Votto for the Reds. Adam Frazier for the Pirates. Charlie Morton for the Rays. Matt Chapman for the A's. Joaquin Soria for the A's. Randy Dobnak for the A's. Pulling a lot of the same cards I got at the very end of the hobby box. Lewis Brinson for the Marlins. Aaron Judge going into the hit pile because he's Aaron Judge and I hope to see him healthy for a full season again because he was such an awesome player. Aaron Judge. Marlon Gonzalez, I think he's on a different team now. Brandon Woodruff for the Brewers. Ron Whit, Cody Whitley, not Ron. You can't read these damn names. Cody Whitley for the Cardinals, rookie card. Don't know much about him. Then Mike Yastrzemski, son, grandson of Carl, and Jesus Sanchez ends our pack. Rookie card for the Marlins. So there you go. There is our fat pack. Not bad. We'll go ahead, I'm gonna pause, and I'm gonna clean this off, and we'll come back and open up the Target Hanger. And we're back with 67 cards of a Target Hanger box. Juan Soto's here, we're looking for two exclusive Cody Bellinger highlight cards inside. So we did just see what we did, uh, what we pulled with the Cody there. Uh, there's gold, rainbow foils, vintage stock, there's a bunch of the stuff that you're probably not gonna get, but we're just gonna keep trying because that's what we do. Ripping packs, hanger box from Target, three, two, one, let's friggin' go. Okay. And right, and we will open from here. And here is our lovely pack of cards. 
on the bottom. All right, David Dahl is the top of our pack. We'll leave it at that, and then we will dig in and get down and dirty with all 67 cards, just the same way we did the fat pack there. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, we got David Dahl, Oliver Perez, Wade LeBlanc, San Diego, Slam Diego. That's actually kind of a cool card. Four games, four slams. And I remember that moment. I'm actually throwing that in the hip hop because it was a pretty cool, pretty cool, uh, even though I'm not a big Padres fan at all because I'm a Dodger fan, that was pretty good for baseball. Then we have Trevor Williams for the Pirates, Hunter Renfro for the Rays, Griffin Canning for the Angels, Miami Marlins team card, Jake Arrieta now back with the Cubbies. Then we're to some normal cards that are not horizontal. We got Luke Weaver for the Diamondbacks, Kevin Kiermeyer for the Rays, Marco Gonzalez for the Mariners, Wilson Ramos for the Mets, Clayton Kershaw with the 2020 World Series. First time I pulled a World Series card. Pretty cool. Definitely going in a PC pile. So way to go, Clayton. You've earned it. Then Lourdes Gurriel for the Blue Jays. Luis Robert going into the hit pile, but we'll see. Hopefully he stays in the hit pile because yes, it's not his rookie. It's his second year, his Gold Cup card. But to me, these are always some pretty good cards. So yeah, Luis Robert going in the hit pile. Francisco Lindor now with the Mets. Teoscar Hernandez with the Blue Jays. Albert the Machine Pujols. I've said it before, he's going into my hit pile because he's going to be a Hall of Famer and it's better to grab him out of the hit pile than digging through the commons. Then we have Daniel Johnson, rookie card for the Tribe. Throw him in the rookie pile. Then Dalton Varsho, son of former Cub catcher Gary Varsho, playing for the Diamondbacks. Then we have Santiago Espinal for the Blue Jays, shortstop rookie. Know nothing on him, but they've got a grip of shortstop rookies coming through their organization, so he may not be too high on their ladder. Just a hunch. Isaac Paredes, third baseman for the Tigers, rookie card. I'm noticing that, it, like, especially in the Fat Packs and Hanger, all the rookies are kind of lumped together. That's a good thing, but it's also a bad thing for collation, so you're going to get all your rookies in one spot. And yeah, I don't know. That's just my thoughts. Paredes, he's actually, it's a, it's a good. It's a good rookie to pull. And then Christian Pache, nice, another good rookie to pull. He uh, was on the postseason roster for the Braves and he's very Andrew Jones-like. So pay attention to this guy if you're not aware of him already. And then Miguel Cabrera, same thing. I put this guy in my, in my hit pile just cause he's gonna be a Hall of Famer one day and it's easier to dig him out than sticking him in the commons. Then Adam Plutko with the Indians, Gio Gonzalez with the White Sox, Wilson Contreras with the Cubs, Mitch Moreland. Then we have a, is that Rainbow Foil? Rainbow Foil, I believe, for the Detroit Tigers. We get one out of two pack, I believe. So let's go to the next card. Let's make sure I'm just seeing, yeah, nothing special. So we'll throw that in the insert pile. Max Scherzer with the Nationals. Bo Bichette, nice. Uh, again, it's not his rookie card, it's his second year, but I like this, I want to say it's 52, it could be 53 tops design, but that's actually a cool looking card. Then Fernando with the same, nice, another hit there. Those are all going in the inserts, but they're hits, if you know what I mean. Yeah, they're hits. Tatis, that's actually a pretty badass looking card. Although his autograph is really sketchy, it looks like it's just some ink blots, like, is that a Rorschach? I don't know. Kristen Yelich. So we pulled some some quality names on this uh, on this little sub series right here. That's cool. Then our '86 card. We've got Sonny Gray for the Reds. We'll see how much longer he ends up staying there because it's a fire sale. Then we got Cody Bellinger with unprecedented power. Cody Bellinger. What's funny in the minor leagues, he actually didn't hit a ton of home runs. He was he was a doubles guy, good for average. But in the big leagues, he finally got his his uh, his power put together. Going in the PC pile, and then turning the tide. Cody Bellinger. Yeah, you're kind of getting the hint. It's just a lot of Cody Bellinger cards in here. So we got our two. Moving on, we got Miguel Cabrera with the 81 tops design. That's actually cool. Uh, going in the insert, but that's I don't know what the odds are, but you're gonna see it in a second, like right now. Um, or if you haven't seen already, but that's actually a cool design, that 81. 
It's cool. Then we have Justin Verlander, another guy who, like I said, it goes in my hit pile just because he's going to be a Hall of Famer. It's easier to dig him out from that pile. Then Davey Garcia, rookie card for the Yankees, one of their top pitching prospects. That's a, that's a hit. He's one of those pitching rookies to look for. Then John Means, Lucas Giolito, Freddie Galvis, Jacoby Jones, Justin Dunn, future stars. Yes, I throw him in the hit pile. Monte Harrison for the Marlins, uh, rookie card for him. Don't know much about him at all. Then Joey Bart, nice. Although he, with Buster coming back, he might be a guy who gets thrown back to AAA again. Unless Buster uh, plays more first base, then he'll get his opportunities. The thing with Joey Bart is he's a little older for a rookie, but that's just because he was a legit college player. So now's his time to shine. Let's do it, Joey. That's a hit. Dylan Carlson, nice. This is the guy I've been PCing. Um, if you don't want any of your Dylan Carlson, send them my way, I'll take them. But this is a guy I've been really high on since I got back in the hobby. And uh, I'm just gonna say, collect them. And if you don't collecting them, send them my way. Yeah, Dylan Carlson for the Cardinals, stud outfielder. That's a hit for me. Randy Dobnak again. Then Lewis Brinson again. Oh, don't tell me the exact same thing. Whit Merrifield, Austin Riley, Michael Taylor, Gio Urshela, Francisco Mejia for the Padres. Kyle Seeger, brother of Corey for the Mariners, Max Stassi for the Angels, Cody Bellinger with the basic card going into the PC pile. Max Muncy, nice, going into the PC pile. I've not pulled very many Red Sox right now, which is weird. Zach Britton for the Yankees, Willie Adamas for the Rays, Matt Shoemaker for the Blue Jays, Fernando Tatis going into the hit pile because he's Fernando and he's a rich mother effer right now. He just signed that big fat like 28 year contract. But he's awesome. Matt Olson for the A's. Then we have Sean Manaya for the A's, Rawls Chapman for the Yankees, and Lorenzo Kane who has 20. He actually had at bats listed. Wow, I didn't even think he played. He has 18 at bats in five games. I thought that he didn't play at all, but I was wrong. So there is our target hanger box. There are two Cody Bellingers and a ton of rookies. I'm gonna clean this off and we're gonna open Walmart. Are you ready? Give me a second. All right, everybody, time for the Walmart version. We have two exclusive Royal Base Parallel cards inside. Same breakdown, it looks like. Gold is one every six packs. Uh, Rainbow Foil, one at every two. Vintage stock and blah, 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 blah. Let's just do it. Ripping packs, three, two, one. Walmart blue cards are hiding in here somewhere. Let's go. Okay. Ah. Cellophane with that hot hot cellophane. And there we go. We got ourselves some baseball cards inside. Woo! Baseball cards. We have ourselves a Max Muncie on the top. So great going into the PC collection immediately. You ready? Let's open this baby up. Let's, I'm cool with pulling the exact same pack I just pulled. Because I want more Dylan Carl. I want more. I want more. So we already saw Max Muncie. That's going into the PC pile. Zach Britton for the Yankees, Willie Adamas for the Braves, Matt Shoemaker, Fernando Tatis again, so we're kind of on the same collation here. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, Tatis, Matt Olson, Sean Manea, Rawls Chapman, Renzo Kane. then we have Jonathan Daza, Nolan Arenado now with the Rockies. Okay, screw that, I'm putting him in the, in the hit, in the, uh, hit, hit uh, pile because he's going to be really good. And again, why dig him through the commons when you know you're going to need to want him later on? And the same thing with Goldschmidt, who is going to have protection with St. Louis and Dylan Carlson hitting cleanup. Yeah, believe it or not, the rookie's going to hit cleanup. He's good. So I'm throwing Goldie in there. Then we have the Braves team card, Twins team card, Rockies team card, Brett Gardner with the Yankees, who's not there right now because he's still waiting to you know, sign with them or probably sign with nobody else. Then we have Austin Meadows with the Rays, Yuli Gurriel for the Astros, Luke Weaver, Luke Weaver, good God, that's because the writing is so small, I can't see it, Ian Kennedy for the Royals, Shane Bieber for the Indians, 
Lourdes Goriel for the Blue Jays. Blue Bob again going into the hit pile for the time being. For the White Sox, Frankie Lindor. Teoscar Hernandez. Albert Pujols again showing you briefly going into the hit pile. Uh, Robert Osuna. Blake Taylor. Walk off party for the Giants. Boo. Josh Bell now with the Nationals. Tampa Bay Rays team card. Max Scherzer with the vintage design. I'll just leave it at that. Bo Bichette. So that means we should be pulling a Fernando Tatis here in a second. So you're seeing collation. Yeah, there we go. Fernando Tatis with the same card. Then Christian Yelich. Christian Yelich. <laughs> And then we're going to get Miguel Cabrera for the 86 Tops design. And then we have a blue, oh, this is the Walmart version, Ahmed Rosario, uh, now with the Indians, probably their starting, starting shortstop. Then we have Hector Neris. Hey, Kurt, I got a Hector Neris blue card for you. Yeah, your rainbow is continuously growing, buddy. Then, it, nice, cool. I think this is 88, 89 tops with Chris Bryant. Okay, I can dig that. Then we have Nick Madrigal, former Oregon Stater, former Oregon State Beaver there. He's gonna be a spark plug for the White Sox. They're gonna be a solid team. I'm putting my money on the White Sox. Looks like we're gonna start our rookie run here in a second. And James Caprellian, former uh, Beckman High School standout here in SoCal. Actually shot footage of him for the draft, and he was lights out. He ended up throwing like, I want to say three no-hitters his senior year. Uh, committed to UCLA, uh, committed to Oregon, and then he had some family issues with his mom uh, getting sick, and he ended up coming down to UCLA. Was originally a Yankees product, uh, got traded to the A's, but hopefully he gets it together, because he's a good kid, and he's just, he was awesome watching pitch, and I really hope that for the sake of him, he's able to really get it going. So James Caprillion. Then we've got Alec Boehm. Nice. Runner up to rookie of the year there. Again, hate the rookie cup placement, the gold cup placement. But um, yeah, he's definitely, he's a beast. And he's going to do some good things with the Phillies. Yeah, he's no, it's, it's his rookie card, even though he should have been an update if they would have done that. Um, but they saved him for this. So that's why this, this series, series one, is stacked with rookies. So if you're putting money into anything, Series 1 is definitely one way to go because there are so many quality rookies in this set. At least as of right now, there are. Who knows? Then we have Gavin Lux with the Future Stars going into the PC pile. Hopefully he's able to uh, do something this year. The Dodgers don't need him to do anything, which is great. So he can just go out there and perform mediocrely and still, still do well. That's all that matters. Then Rossiel Iglesias for the uh, Reds, but now with the Angels. David Bote with the Cubbies. John Lester with the Cubs. Sterling Marte for the Marlins. A playful bout of juniors. Ronald Acuna and Vladimir Guerrero going at it. Ding, 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 ding. That's right. Actually, I'm going to throw that in the hit pile because it's... Yeah, why not? Because it's my hit pile, not yours. Maybe you wouldn't. Maybe you would only throw, like, you know... $500 cards in your hip pile. I don't care. I'm throwing it in mine. Then Brandon Workman for the Phillies. A rookie card of Monty Harrison again for the Marlins. Joey Bart. Rookie card again for the Giants. That means Dylan Carlson's right coming next. And there's my boy, Dylan. Dylan, Dylan, Dylan. Dylan Carlson. This is... I'm happy with these hanger boxes right now. I am. <laughs> Then uh, Brandon uh, B Bielak, rookie card for the Astros. Pitcher over there. Then Michael Lorenzen for the Reds. Tim Anderson, who's a stud at shortstop. Jose Quintana for the Cubbies. Brian Goodwin for the Reds. Trevor Bauer now with the Dodgers. Amir Garrett, uh, former basketball player, now pitcher for the Reds. Whit Merrifield for the Royals. Austin Riley for the uh, Braves, Michael Taylor for the Nationals, Gio Urshela, Francisco Mejia for the Padres, Kyle Seeger for the Mariners, Max Stassi for the Angels, Cody Belly Bomb for the Dodgers, and J.D. Davis is finishing it up for the Mets. 
yeah, it's a lot of cards. And to be honest with you, I'm pretty happy with both fat packs. So I'm just doing a quick eyeball analysis. I'm actually gonna do a pretty more, I'm gonna do a more in-depth one when I open the monster box and the blaster box and the other packs. Uh, right now, I would say the hanger box is definitely the way to go. You, you're pulling more. Now granted, you're paying a little bit more, but you're also getting 27 more cards because I think the fat pack was, I wanna say $5, maybe $6. The hanger box was 10, but you're getting just a lot more out of that. Uh, between the Walmart and Target one, to be honest with you, even though I'm a Dodger fan, I'd rather go with the Walmart one just because you have the possibility of pulling those blue bases out of it. So yeah, the blue bases, I'm just gonna show you Hector Nearest just because it's blue. I didn't pull any numbered cards out, um, but it's nice to have these as an option down the road. I mean, actually, let me check. Yeah, no numbered, nothing there for those. So I both hangers, I pulled some decent stuff. Um, the uh, the Miguel Cabrera, 81 tops design. Not so much him, I mean, he's a cool player, but being able to pull that design. And then this Tatis with the Bichette card was a nice pull as well. I did get the rainbow foil in the Target hanger, but those are, you know, one out of two. And I pulled Nico Goodrum. I mean, come on, no, nobody's jumping up and down to get a Nico Goodrum card. Pulled close to the same rookies in both both hangers. You know, I did get the Casey Mize and the Joe Adele out of the fat pack. So you, you know, you're definitely pulling two of those big rookies there. But Dylan Carlson and Joey Bart in both, that's a big win in my book, especially, you know, like I said, with me PCing Dylan Carlson, that's one thing. But, you know, Joey Bart's definitely a rookie to, you know, pay attention to. So I, uh, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, Alec Bohm in the Walmart one. So granted, it, again, it's a collation thing more than anything, but being able to pull his, the Walmart hanger on this run was the winner. I will say that right now because we got all the good rookies and everything that matters. So there we go. There is kind of a comparison of Tops 21 Series 1. Uh, we're gonna open up a mega box tomorrow, but there you go. Thank you for watching Ripping Packs. Heavy Time Baseball Edition. So be sure to um, that subscribe button, just nudge it. That like button, just nudge it. That notification bell, push it. Just jam your finger on it. Say, I'm gonna notify, I want notified. Yeah, and you will be notified thanks to the fine quality people at YouTube. Thank you again for watching Ripping Packs and I will see you tomorrow on Friday. Take care.